sound check. Island out here. Area. Because we created this section last time. This little island out here. Gave it a name. Oh, that's it. Ah, uh, let's see. Why is my voice quiet? Ah, uh, let's see. Why is using the correct Ah, uh, let's see. Still quiet. Hello. Still quiet. Still quiet, they tell me. Okay. <laughs> clicky, clicky. Uh, any better now? Is it, is it louder? Oh, let's see. Lindsay says if she turns it up loud enough to hear me, then the game is super quiet. Or too, is the game is too loud. So maybe I need to turn the game down. Okay, the game should be quieter now. I don't understand why the sound is not working from week to week because I didn't change anything. It's the same settings I had last week. Why is it why is it not working? How's th this? Better. Okay. I'm hearing I'm hearing it's better. Is it better enough? Or should I should I fiddle with it more? Sounds sounds better. Oh, is this the name of it? Here we go. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing 
that I am good now. My sound is good now. Okay, great. Okay, so we had named this the Motley District, which I love that name. And so we need some kind of, like, a, a bus, maybe, going to the Motley District. Look at, uh, that's kind of, I actually really like that triangular pattern that just kind of happened on accident. <laughs> From this side, these are really pretty houses. Because this is the self-sufficient, so they're all covered in plants and green roofs and stuff. From this side, though, boy, they don't look very good at all from the outside. <laughs> oh, well. And this, I like this one a lot, with all those plants going along the edge. Okay, let's create a bus route. we got to be able to get... Uh, some people in and out of the one road without creating too much traffic. Actually, the Tsunami District needs a bus route. Uh, this new area over here that we created needs a bus route. Let's try to connect all the new areas that I had made last time together. We'll just have a simple... And that's really all we need. Should it go out here? And Oh, I guess it can't. Oh. Yeah, here we go. We can go along here. So we could add a bus stop by these uh, riverside uh, things. And then we can go over here and we'll wrap all the way around the Tsunami District. And then let's not go through that roundabout if we can help it. Because the roundabout's got... So much traffic already. Yeah, we could stop right there, I guess. And then stop right there, and then connect up there, and there we go. Well, it uh, connects this kind of these suburbs to the Motley District. And now, because this is a canal, this is actually designed, the canals are kind of designed to have ferries. We don't own enough water. Let's do a ferry. Let's get a ferry route going. I I love that idea. We're going to have to purchase. Uh-oh. Is this all I can purchase? Uh-oh. To really connect the ferries, I would need to be able to purchase this over here, too. Okay, well, the uh, ferry's a long-term plan. We'll add that in later. But now we have this whole area we could build into, so that could be fun. Ah, jeez. We could build more of these. Oh, there's a, somebody who passed away in this high-rise here. Where is the closest hospital or um, funeral facility? Oh, jeez. No fire station in here either. Well, that could be a problem, actually. <laughs> what if there's a fire? Oh, I can't put anything on here? It is roadside. Okay, let's... I mean, we could put something right next to it. What if I put a fire department right here? A fire station right there. Is that close enough to actually be able to uh, get in there in a timely manner? Let's extend this road uh, down to there. Yeah, I guess the fire department is going to want water. Everybody wants water. I think there are fire trucks that you can actually fill the fire truck itself with some water. I mean, I know they plug into fire hydrants when they get to the fire. But I think some of them carry a bit of water around with them. I might be wrong about that. I, I think that's the case. Okay, so we got a fire department there. Let's go ahead and let's have a police department just, you know, to cover all of our bases. And a hospital. And sadly, a crematorium for when that is needed. Okay. Yes, fire, fire departments like water. 
Oh, I hadn't realized this was quite so hilly, but uh, I guess it'll be okay. Oh, when people want to... Oh. They, people pull out of any of these, the fire department, the police station, and they want to go this way over Brown Bridge to get to the Motley District. They have to go all the way down here and turn around because this is a one-way road and then a one-way road over there. So that that is not great. I wonder if I could create a turnaround for emergency vehicles only. I think that would actually be kind of neat. What if we had something like this, but I'll want it to be on the ground. Slope is too steep. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this whole area is just really, really mountainy. Okay, I'm going to have to flatten this land out so that we can get our emergency vehicles going. Ooh, that's too big. Okay, we're going to set that up like so. And then we're going to have this one-way street. I'd like it to come down to here, but it's going to be too steep. Hmm. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Oh, it created a little tunnel. Well, that's fine. So now, okay. So now, when emergency vehicles pull out of the fire station here, they can make a U-turn right there. Boop. I know there were easier ways to fix it, but I kind of specifically wanted to do it this way because I think it's neat. Now let's grab this one-way road that I've created. Oh, can you only do it one at a time? And... Oh, I guess I have to do it here. So I want to ban every type of vehicle except the emergency vehicles. So this whole roundabout loop is only for emergency vehicles. I think that'll work. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So I'll have to make sure this is actually working, but I think this will now only be police and ambulances and people who need it. So everyone else should really be able to just... Hopefully this will not cause traffic jams that an intersection normally would. And we'll name it... Emergency Street, because I'm so good with names. Well, you want to take Emergency Street uh, down, or the only way it goes, because it's a one-way, it's a one-way street. <laughs> let's change, let's, and let's rejigger this intersection now. Let's tell people, don't stop here. <laughs> Just keep on going, because the only people who are going to be turning here are going to be um, emergency vehicles, and heck, they'll have their sirens on anyway, so. Actually, let's not rejigger any of these. Let's just leave these alone. Ah, fui. Ah! There we go. Okay, yeah, we'll just leave them like normal. And don't park on Emergency Street! How is that even possible? Normal cars aren't even supposed to be able to go on Emergency Street. So you sh shouldn't be able to park there. Okay, well, that's a weird solution, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. My gosh, four ambulances in a row. It's a, something bad is going on. Oh, 
Oh, that building was abandoned because education was too low. Well, you know, maybe it's finally time to put in a university. Always makes you nervous seeing a giant fire truck go through a roundabout, Alinzia? Yeah. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Doesn't really look like they would fit. Or that they might turn over. Well, that's not exactly a roundabout uh, that I created. I don't know what you'd call it exactly. An emergency lane, I guess. I don't know. Let's put in another hospital or er, crematorium, I guess, because we've got a bunch of uh, people who sadly passed away around here, and uh, they're needing to be picked up. Okay, let's do a university. Where would be a good place to put a university? Oh, man. Let's see. Well, we've got Laffy Park over here. Maybe we should put the university near Laffy Park so the <laughs> kids can go to the park after a hard day of classes. No, that's probably a bad idea. There's already so many traffic problems over there. We don't need to put a whole university there and have even more traffic. But it would be good if it would go somewhere near a bunch of residential zones. You know, we've got this island over here. We could put the university on this island. This is the island that the meteor crashed into. We could put the university here and call it like Meteorversity. Meteor U or something. <laughs> I don't know. We need a better name. But I like that. We could put the university on this island. Let's see. We could have a subway stop here. We'll need access from the highway. That'll be a little tricky. But not impossible. Okay, well. Okay, you know what though? We need to be able to buy this piece of land. Really, and then we could have a highway split coming off there. We could also have a ferry stop on here and connect the ferry up into a Motley district. And oh, I like that a lot. Okay, but for we need to grow the city more so that we can buy that piece of land. I can't buy any more land right now. Okay, so let's just add some more residential, commercial, all the standard stuff. We can put uh, we can put more stuff building off of animal the Animal Crossing district. Okay, so we've got Green Power Avenue coming down there. Let's connect Green Power Avenue up with the Animal Crossing district. Oh, jeez, I hate to mess up that perfect arch there, but I don't see any alternative. I'll just come in right there. That's not too bad. Okay. Oh boy, it's storming. It's storming. And we've got an emergency shelter right there. That strikes me as a good place to put the uh, schools next to. So like, in the event of an emergency, all the kids can easily get to the emergency shelter and be safe. In my real life city, at least a couple of the high schools are emergency shelters in the event of a, you know, like an earthquake or something. Because we get earthquakes where I live. Um, some of the high schools are set up to be emergency facilities. I don't think City Skylines does that, but we can kind of simulate it by having the high schools go next to the emergency shelters. We'll just put some residentials in here. Oh, that slope is too steep. That's okay. Maybe we don't want to put anything right there anyway. And let's throw in, like I always do, if I'm going to put in schools, I always put a fire department next to the elementary school. I feel like if the elementary school catches fire, we want immediate response. And we'll throw in a high school. 
I mean, building out the... Getting a, a slightly larger city might be a good idea anyway. Oh man, this is all too steep. Before getting a university, because I'm not entirely sure that we have a large enough population to really fill up a university, but it'd still be fun to try. Oh, this is too high up. Ah, okay, well. And if we take this and we make everything on here that height... That should be plenty for a high school. There we go. High school! Well, bam And we want to put a park by the schools. I want the kids to be able to go play in a park when they have field days and stuff. Oh my goodness, we don't need a gigantic park. I mean, this one won't fit. Okay, well, we'll <laughs> I click on every single park, and then I end up putting in the one that I clicked on first anyway. Hey, Terrence is here! Hi, Terrence! How's it going? Does that island resemble the United States? Oh, you know, it might. You know... Now that you mention it, yeah, this is Florida here. A little bit. I I can see it, yeah. And uh, this is this is where the meteor struck. <laughs> well, yeah. I guess this is th and this is where California would be. This is the United States after the polar ice caps melt and the sea levels rise, I guess. Except somehow Florida is doing okay. I don't know what they did over in Florida. How's it going, Terrence? Let's see. Oh man, you guys are in a bad COVID spot, huh? Wow. Well, hey, stay inside playing video games. And and stay healthy. Weird thing about COVID. All the, all my life, people have been telling me it's unhealthy to play video games so much because you need to get outside and get fresh air and exercise. And now, all of a sudden, staying inside, not getting fresh air, that's the healthy option. Let's create a little walking path. Walking slash biking path. To go from... Oh. to go over the road. Cuz I always like I always like to have overpasses so people don't have to cross the street. Which maybe is silly, but I don't know. I like it. Oh, I don't know if that worked. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. So now this bike path connects up to the park right there. And from the park, you can get to the sidewalk. And then we could have this go all the way over here and connect up to uh, Mason Street for whatever we end up building over there. Just another, another way we can have people walking. And then over here... Oh, jeez, what's happening? There we go. Well, it took a while, but we eventually got that flattened out. And then this could go down and uh, connect to Animal Crossing way down there. Oh, hold on. This is supposed to connect up, though. There we go. Well, it's a little janky, but it'll work, I think. <laughs> okay. Cool, so we got little walking trails. Yep, video games are the answer, Alenzia. <laughs> that is correct. Alright, let's see. Oh man, thunder and lightning. Good thing we've got all these fire stations now. I love the graphics of this game in the rain. I think the reflections off the roads. 
the way that you can see the raindrops hitting the road and everything. I just think, I mean, it's a pretty game, generally, but I think the rain is, is really nice looking in this game. Ooh, yeah, we should have a subway connecting into the Motley District. All right, well, let's keep expanding this area. We're going to be connecting Green Zone and Animal Crossing together through what is, I guess, Mason Street. I think this is too mountainy. I'm going to try to create some nice little subdivision-y uh, tight roads along here. Not perfect lines, but kind of cul-de-sacs and stuff. Except maybe not cul-de-sacs, because I don't have enough room right there for a proper cul-de-sac. Actually, I don't know that there's a good way in this game to create a cul-de-sac. Hmm. Yeah, that looks kind of good. It's kind of a random smattering. Go ahead and fill this all in with some light residential. Get some people living over here. They can go to those schools. And let's make sure they got water. Electricity is doing great. Okay. They should be doing just fine. Five thousand new cases a day for the last three cases or er, last three days. My gosh. My gosh, Terrence, that's uh that's a little scary. Wow. Alright. And residential demand is going down a little. Commercial demand and industrial demand is still high, so let's put in a commercial area. Let's see, I wish it would turn to daytime so I could see these hills and everything better. Now we've got commercial right around here. I kind of like how... Animal Crossing District has things on like a, a bit of a curve. What if we got fancy and curved this around there like that and we could create more commercial area in here. It's a little weird, but I think it looks kind of cool. At least in the dark and from straight above. We'll see if it still looks cool in the daytime. <laughs> should we connect up this little wibbly wobbly road here? I think we should. Okay. All right, so we got all that going on, and then let's put in a nice big park area. Mm, slope too steep. Is that going to be an ongoing problem? Okay, so we have that right there. There we go. It's daytime! And let's have, let's put in a walking slash biking trail from Mason Street to the little park here. Mm -hmm. 
And let's put an overpass here. And then we can have this connect up with the walking trail over here. So except for some incredibly steep inclines. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Not really better. It's kind of better. Man, that's a very bumpy area. This whole thing, I'm going to get rid of this. That whole walking trail is uh, looks unsafe. <laughs> we'll go over here. We'll grab this. Okay. And then let's try this again. We'll just have this come around here and come down there. All right. That looks better. And so people can walk all over the place. And then over here, let's go ahead and throw in some commercial. Actually, right around here, I'm going to put in some offices. See if we can get some office workers in here. And then we'll throw in a whole bunch of commercial here. We'll get the big shopping districts, the malls, all that jazz. And then we'll throw in some light commercial around here. So we'll get a good mix. We should get everything from gas stations to skyscrapers. All right. And let that build. And really what we're probably going to need after that commercial area develops more is a whole bunch of residential, dense residential, I would imagine. Oh, fooey! I forgot to plug in the plumbing. All right, here we go. Jeez. These people love their water. Always like, oh man, I want to drink water and and clean myself with water. I'm just crazy about water. It's raining. What do you need city pipes for? Just go out in the rain. Go out in the rain with a bucket. <laughs> what are you bothering me for, jeez, people? Whiny little people. All right. We're getting some developments here. Okay, that's a... Oh, that is an office. The law firm. Very good. Outlet shop. Oh, like maybe that wasn't an office. Might have been looking at that wrong. Multimedia center. So what do you guys want to level up more? No level up information is available. No level up. The law firm doesn't know what it needs to level up. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe that means they're fine. And everybody is going to level up on their own uh, without me having to fiddle with anything. Yeah, residential demand is huge now. So... That's a weird bridge. Okay, we're going to take this area over here. Now, this road had tram tracks on it. Let's keep that going. So, the people who want to ride the tram can do that. And we're going to go to our curvy, wurvy road here. And let's get around here and let's get up the hill and you know what we could connect this over there yeah I like that let's go through this break in the wall and connect up here and uh, maybe right here I'm gonna make a turn aroundy for the tram track so that the Tram can make a U-turn. That's what I'm going to do here. 
I think that's a great idea. Q Lane Road. Oh, this is the trolley. One way tram track. Oh, do we have one that's just tram? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so. That'll be a place where the tram can turn around. And then let's take the tram line. Oh, well, let's go ahead and let it go there. But then when it comes... Oh, or wait, does it go all around flippy-bippy-boo? Yeah, it does. Okay. So we're going to take this all the way around here. More tram stops in what is nowhere right now. But eventually it'll be somewhere... There we go, okay. So now we've got a tram line. And that goes all the way around here. So now we just need to fill all the way around here with tram, uh, with places that people will want to take the tram to go to. It is the mud, the mud flats, Terrence. <laughs> Uh, it looks like the map was designed so this would have been water. It's like a dried up riverbed or something, I think, is what it's supposed to look like. Maybe this should be the mud district, or the mud, the mud flats district. That we're building off of here. Let's build, let's do exactly that, actually. And let's make it tram track, since we've got a tram going here. Let's see, that's going to be a hill, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, first I should flatten this all out. <laughs> maybe from the tsunami. Yes, maybe the tsunami created the mudflats. The tsunami that was caused by nature and not the mayor. Nobody can prove that the tsunami was caused by the mayor. What is the mayor got magic superpowers? He can just control the weather. That's crazy talk. Crazy talk. You can't prove anything. All right, let's get these uh, tram tracks going off here, going down here, going around there. And let's flatten out some more territory. Yeah, this whole area here, I think, is going to be the Mudflats District. I like that. That'll connect back around there. And then we go grab our tram and let's just have them make two stops in the mud flat mud flats district. And now we've got this big empty space here in the middle that we could make some kind of cool park. we go right there maybe and then add this like yeah we could do like this okay yeah and then right in here we can build Wow, a lot of a lot of connecting points. Yeah, we can build a little bike path along here. Okay, cool. We've got a gigantic park in the middle of this. They're going to need electricity and water. Everybody wants water. Let's run some power lines along there. And right here, maybe we should throw in a fire department. 
they can hook up to the power plant there and also in case our gigantic park uh, catches fire we'll need somebody right there to put it out okay I think that'll work and then what if we expand it by making an area up here that is a little bit higher elevation but hopefully not insane and this one doesn't have to be a tram but we'll have a my gosh that is a crazy steep uh, incline okay and oh and hey yeah this can connect up back to the main road okay oh jeez <laughs> I even said something about how they'd want water and then I forgot to give them water okay we're putting in water all you whiny little babies there you go now you can drink and flush your toilets and stuff And we're going to put more high residential up here, high density. And all along here, and just generally make this a huge residential area. And you know what, maybe I should throw in an extra elementary school. I'll put that over by the fire department, as I usually do. And we could throw in a library if we have room for it somewhere. There we go. My gosh, that's a ridiculously steep bridge. Or not bridge, but road. I mean, I guess we're in an area where it never snows, but in the wintertime with snow and ice, this would be impossible to go up and terrifying to go down. Let's move it a little. It's still terrifying, <laughs> but oh well. Hey, there's the tram. You can hear its little bell going off and everything. Oh, that's pretty neat. And then let's take the uh, the this whole muddy area here. Let's make this. Let's officially make this a district. Terence coined the name the Great Everything Bird Mud Mud Flats to make it fit. Let's say Great Mud Flats. And it's in Everythingburg, so everyone will know that. The Everythingburg part is assumed. And then let's add some more. Let's add some more streets. I like the idea of keeping the tram going in these little loopity doopities. And then I guess we could connect this up through there. Sorry, people. We had to evict you and bulldoze you to put in a road. Um, it's a really important road. Uh, for reasons. And look, we're building new houses all the time. Just go live somewhere else. Because I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure... If the city comes in and bulldozes your house and they say, we're building lots of houses, just go live in a different one of them. People would be cool with that, right? People would just be like, oh, okay. You know, this this gives me a chance to get on House Hunters and be on HGTV looking for a new house. This is, this is great. I'm glad the city bulldozed my old house and forced me to move against my will. It's a blessing in disguise, really. 
You know, like, look on the bright side, people. You could be on HGTV. You could be on House Hunters. Yay! Doesn't that make it more exciting that your house got bulldozed by the city? Doesn't that make it all worthwhile? In theory, hopefully, when I bulldoze their house... I mean, from a roleplay point of view, I'd like to imagine that we gave them a bunch of money or something. Like, bought their house for way over market value or something before we bulldozed it. Let's see... Well, pinnacle of city design, I mean, I think when you decide to move to an area of the city called the Mudflats, you're probably already making certain compromises in your life. It's a nice city, though. Look at the big giant frickin' park. I mean, come on, look at that park. Big old park. Oh, I gotta put in some tram line, some tram stops. Otherwise, having the tram tracks doesn't really do any good. Oh my gosh, yes! I love that. Okay, this is officially changing to Boxcar... Boxcar Hill. This, uh, this terrifying, scary hill would be perfect for um, boxcars or uh, all the pine derby whatever racers. Oh, it would be great for that. And I do kind of like the idea of putting a clinic at the bottom just because that does... <laughs> um, now I hate bulldozing people's houses, though. It actually has pretty good clinic coverage here. I'm, I'm not going to put in a, a clinic just because I have to bulldoze somebody's house. And I don't want to do that again if I don't have to. Oh, there's a crime here. You have a, a road that steep, Alinzia? There's a red light at the bottom of it. Oh, well, that's just a horrible idea. Okay, they don't expect to get evicted days after moving in. What you have to understand, Terrence, is that time is going very fast. In the simulation so even if i bulldoze a building mere seconds after it's constructed in the game that has probably been weeks in the s simulated person's life so you know after a few weeks you're probably tired of living in one place anyway right ready for a change <laughs> i do feel bad bulldozing these poor people's houses Sorry, people. Now we have demand for commercial. A lot of commercial demand. We built a bunch of commercial over here, but I guess it wasn't enough. So let's add some more. There, a gigantic uh, area there to sprinkle in some commercial. And can we connect this right? Oh, man. Somebody's house is going to get bulldozed. There's no way around it. Ah, oh, we Look, I can't be expected to plan out all the roads for the city beforehand. So, I'm sorry, people. This city is a work in progress. You, you might... Uh, you might get your house bulldozed. That's just how it is. I apologize. Bam! And we probably don't need this power line anymore. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> this is the pinnacle of city planning right here, I tells you. All right. What's going on here? An HGTV DLC for City Skylines would be great. Virtual house hunters, 
City skylines will be used for the city maps where they show the house locations and Todd can make three houses in Sims 4 for the house tours. Oh my gosh. Todd captures the video, Terrence edits it together, Alinzia does the voiceover. And house, the House Flipper video game becomes the spin-off show. Oh my gosh, I, you, you all, I think we're really onto something here. I think, I think this is a fantastic idea. Do you think HGTV would mind that we're kind of infringing on the names of their pop properties and stuff? Or do you think we can get them to actually buy the show and syndicate it? They have a whole network to fill up, you know, airtime. They probably need a lot of shows. I'm going to throw in some schools over here because all these giant residential buildings are going to have a lot of kids that need to go to school somewhere. <laughs> and as always, throw in a fire department right next to the schools. And a little park. In this case, a basketball court, I think, would be fun. <laughs> you know kids, they love their basketball. Uh, that didn't really work. I don't know what's going on there. That's the jankiest basketball court I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's try that again, video game. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, just tell me construction is or slope is too steep. Don't build a wackadoodle thing. Just tell me no. No, we can't do that because it's on a mountain. Just just say it. Just say it. All right. Let's do that. Bam. House Hunters with city skylines and sims mixed together to create a House Hunters show it w or, you know, YouTube show. That does kind of sound like fun. It's a neat idea. I do kind of like that. Let's see. Not enough educated workers for the mega shopping center. Do mega shopping centers really have high educational requirements for their workers? So if I'm reading this right, this uh, shopping center has two employees. It only needs two employees, apparently. but And the two people working here graduated high school, but it wants highly educated, which means college graduates. I just don't know what kind of shopping center requires a college degree to work there. That seems excessive. TCTV, Toddcast Television. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you all have some fantastic ideas. I think I think that sounds great. And then Alencia can do a fan podcast dedicated to uh, my TCTV addiction. You're addicted to watching all Todd's ridiculous... YouTube things. Oh, it's too steep to build anything else there. Well, commercial demand is going down. More and more, I'm feeling like we need to build a university. Every time I see these little messages about how people working here aren't educated enough, it makes me think we really need to build a university. But, I mean, if my heart is dead set on building it on this little island... We either have to do some major reconstruction of the fishing district to get a highway connection out there, or we need to buy this chunk of land so we can go through there. Buying that chunk of land is the better, superior option. How much more do we need to grow the city before I'm able to put it in? I need 3,000 more people to live here before I can buy another piece of land. All right, how many houses <laughs> does it take to get 3,000 people to live here? Jeez. It's getting to be time to wrap things up. Let's see if I can, before I end the stream today, because it's about quitting time, but before I do, can I just get one more giant push of residential construction 
and get the 3,000 people I need to be able to buy that piece of land. And then next time we play, we'll be ready to put in the university. Wouldn't that be exciting? I would, I would get a kick out of that. Okay. This is going to be... My gosh, yeah, like a giant area here. And then we will, we can, we can fill in this whole area. Well, I don't know if I make it all fancy and like subdivisions and suburbs and stuff, if that's going to have the population density that I need. To put in, to get the 3,000 people, I don't know, but I want it to look nice. I don't want to. So this is not at all a cul-de-sac. That was what I was trying to do there. I think I failed miserably. Well, what I... I mean, a cul-de-sac is... If I'm even using the right word. <laughs> a cul-de-sac is our little residential area that just kind of ends in like a... It, it looks like a lollipop, right? It's a street that just kind of ends in a big circle and has houses off of it. A cul-de-sac is like a residential lollipop. And I just don't know if there's tools in City Skylines to really do that properly. There's probably a mod for it, though. There's mods for everything in this game. City Skylines, really, seriously, has a huge modding community, and they're on the workshop right in Steam, so they're pretty easy to find and install. You don't have to go to weird third-party websites or anything like that. So I bet I could find a coldy sack mod. Okay. Well, this is a huge area though. Like, even if we don't use high density, just the sheer amount of territory might, might be enough. I mean, look at this. Whoosh! That's a lot. Okay, and we're going to need we're going to need schools and fire departments and maybe a health clinic for the uh, Pine Derby racers. <laughs> Let's put in a police department too. We haven't had one of those in a long time. And a fire department. Just <laughs> all the city centers just side by side. Just everything's right here. Oh, the high school didn't go in. Oh, slope too steep. There, it'll go across the road. Where's the library? Here's the public library. Maybe the public library will go in a slightly different place. I guess it doesn't need to be right next to the schools. Although, how convenient when the high schoolers have to do a book report. They'll just be like, oh, the library's right there. All right, let's bring water to the people. Oh man, I really want to put in some walkways and we, we totally need more parks. Let's put in some tennis courts. I love a good tennis court. Well, I haven't played tennis in a long time and now in the middle of the COVID situation. I, uh, the only tennis courts I know of are outdoor courts. and Well, that's probably better. Actually, you probably could play tennis without wearing your mask. Because you're more than six feet away from the other person you're playing with. So, yeah, maybe a, maybe outdoor tennis would be fine. Actually, now that I, th <laughs> now that I think about it. Yeah, it's a dot at the end of the road. Right, yeah. So not this. This is <laughs> this is weird. Oh my gosh, I have a ridiculous but fun idea. I'm going to take this weird circular contraption. And I'm just going to make this all high density. So right in the middle of all this low density housing, we're just going to have a couple giant skyscrapers of... <laughs> houses. 
It's a terrible idea. Bad for traffic. I just think it would look cool. A lot of my decisions as mayor are just things I think would be neat. Wouldn't it be neat to have a tsunami? No. That wasn't me. Nobody can prove it was me. Okay, let's speed up time and get people to move in here. And it is it is quitting time, so let's just see if we can get, after this builds up, if we can hit the uh, population I need to buy that next piece of town. We still need 3,000 people, so it hasn't changed at all yet, but this area hasn't built up yet either. So we're full speed ahead. And let's see what happens. Shaking my head at the utility infrastructure design. Look, if people... Look, the, infra the utility infrastructure is great. Look, these people all have water. They're all covered in water, but in a good way. It's fine. You would probably like me to run the sewer lines before people start building houses, but... Uh, Running the sewer lines is boring. <laughs> I want to do the fun part where you you build the cul-de-sacs and houses and everything. Oh, uh-oh, there's a fire here. Did I remember to build a fire department nearby? Yeah, there we go. There's a fire truck right there. I like if you zoom in, you can even see little firemen getting out of the truck and spraying the city or the building. I mean... The, there's animations in this game if you zoom in close enough that are actually really neat. Let's see, we got a couple tennis courts. I had wanted to put in a walking path. There we go. That's a little trail. Kind of steep and mountainy. Good grief. Gotta stop building these things at night when I can't see. My gosh, that's horrible. Okay. Well. Maybe I'll get rid of that, because... Oh my gosh, this is just a straight up, like, straight... I mean, that's, a, that's a rock climbing area, not a walking path. Okay, yeah, we'll get rid of that. That didn't work at all. Okay. Come on! Let's see if I can get to 38,000! Oh my gosh! It's only gone up by like 160 people. 174. I guess it's still going. We're not going to hit it with low density though. We need some high density. Alright. Oh gosh. Don't you hate it when you get it's stuck in your head that you want to finish a particular level or project or something before you quit playing the game. So you end up just kind of being your own perpetual loop. It's like the game has the game is not causing me, forcing me to do this before I can quit. It, this is entirely my own idea, but I'm like, no, I have to do this before I can quit. So I've effectively trapped myself in a never-ending game. Okay, here, this is just for you, Terrence. Look at me. I'm running uh, pipes under the roads before anybody has started to live here. Where is my Mayor of the Year award? And let's throw in some tennis courts over here. In SimCity... You unlocked special things, like you could build a statue to yourself, like a statue of the mayor. <laughs> the mayor's statue. That's what I need in City Skylines. I want to erect a statue in my own honor. Not in an egotistical way, just I think the people, I think that's what the people would really like. To honor me with my own statue. Alright, we've got some... 
high density residential zone here. Now there's huge demand. Oh, garbage is piling up. Oh, geez. That's why you can't just throw this stuff together really fast. Like, you have to put more time and effort and thought and planning into it. You have to put more planning into city planning. There we go. Okay. We can do this, people. I'm going to throw in, by this industrial area, another incineration plant and recycling center. Recycle everything you can recycle and everything you can't recycle. Throw it in the furnace. <laughs> okay. And uh, for the commercial demand... Eh, you know, right over here, maybe we could just... Have a little loop de doop de Not a perfectly straight road. Kind of try to make it look neat. And we'll throw some commercial into here. Alright, come on guys. Come on. Move in. I need 3,000 more, you jerks. Get your butts in the city. I really like this area um, on the hills, even though it is not very densely populated. But I think it's kind of pretty, and that's that's important. Boy, yeah, there's plenty of room for people to move in. They must be being held back by the lack of uh, commercial. Well, now there's no demand for anything. I may just be developing too fast. Yeah, we, we're only up to 390 people more than we had before. Oh, geez, and the garbage demands are piling up. Okay, I'm. we're just going to have to hit the next milestone next time we play, because this is taking a long time, and I don't like rushing it. I like to build more slowly and try to make things look pretty and everything. And I do think everything looks pretty nice. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to feel like I'm in a giant hurry. So, we're going to wrap things up. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of um, The Mayor Bulldozed My House. Where the heck do I live now? They can put my statue in the middle of Tsunami District. I feel like that's a not an... um honorable <laughs> suggestion all right thanks for tuning in everybody i stream city skylines every thursday at 5 p.m alaska time that's 7 p.m middle of the country time i don't know what it is where you live um but tune in again next week to watch me play more of everything berg we're gonna try to get three thousand more suckers to come live in my city so that i can buy another piece of land and then we can build a university next week i'd like to build a university that is my plan my dream my hope my fondest desire thanks for watching it's good to see you again terrence thank you and good night <laughs>